What's going on? I don't with, want you to hurt yourself. It, it's already broken. There's steel plate in it. What's going on right with there. the Sharpie? What do you mean? Oh, darn it. I forgot that was there. Ruined the show. Sorry but luckily, I'm going to save you it. You could have told me that just 90 did. seconds ago. Just did. Said you're arguing about the big three. Today. Man. A little bit frustrating. Really? Because you see how good Anthony Davis mm. is. When he really wants to be, and he, look, he's had a great year. I'm not. Mm -hmm. He's had a great but, year. Right. But he could be doing this all the time. The fact he should be in the discussion with Jokic and Giannis and Embiid. And let's face it, he's not. But last night with Giannis on the floor, AD was the best player. Right. AD dominated the backboards, including on the offensive end, with not only Giannis on the floor, but Milwaukee is huge. Huge. Their biggest team in the league. Mm -hmm. And he was unstoppable, and defensively he was great. Look, he, he made a uh, – you know, he's making a run at Defensive Player of the Year, and, and last night was a great case for him. So, in that regard, it was a tad frustrating because he should be playing like this more often, okay? But what I learned is that I think sometimes because of how great LeBron is and how great he's been, like his stature in basketball, I think sometimes the teammates – defer too much to him. Here we go. Because and well D'Angelo Russell when he got going like halfway through the season was after LeBron and AD were like man play just be aggressive. That's right. Don't worry about oh you got to set up LeBron and AD they're the first two options. Just be aggressive and D'Angelo Russell's been great since then. And last night you saw what Austin Reeves can do and Aunt Russell and and Rui and I think they have you – know, you guys know I've been saying this. I like their supporting cast. I think it's been – people have been ripping their other players way too much. I think they have the guys where they can play five-man basketball, move the ball, who's hot, let him get his going. Because LeBron's going to get 25 anyway. He's going to find a way. Mm -hmm. And so I think that is – that's what I saw last night is, look, these guys are good. And I think they should – not try to defer as much to LeBron. He's the top player or second yeah. best, but just let him get his in the flow of the game. Go right, ahead, Wiles. right up to the edge. He's not willing to step over the line. But well, you're right there on the edge. What am I supposed to say? No, Go, I'm saying, I'm he's not still saying their anything. second best player. Yeah. So hey, I'm not saying he's, I'm not saying there's a peck, there's oh. not a pecking order, but I'm saying they can play five player so, basketball. So they don't the set, through right. Lakers are six and four without LeBron this what year. What are they with him? Because they're more than two games above 500, so they would be bet. So they have they're more above 500 with him than well, without him. Well, at 60 percent right? winning with, mo, without him in the previous five well, years without LeBron, probably not. Uh, they were winning less than 40 percent of their games. Yeah. So this year feels a little bit different. Yeah, but you have that little. I, before I even give my answer, you you have this little wry smile that you wanted Brew to give a take. Yeah, you that want you me to rip you. Like I'm not. No, no, I'm no, which is a they, weird they spot. Like is the is it, so so finish the thought that you what were. Are they, what are they, Josh? 42 and. 34 and 28 with them. Their 34 win and 28. The winning percentage is no, better it, 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 yeah, by a but tick. It's small, yes. It's smaller. Okay. And, and this was they a beat game, the Blazers, be Spurs, Celtics, Jazz, and the Bucks twice without it, him. And, Very good. Uh -huh. So, so what is but, Wilds? You ha you can't two minutes into the show have a thought let the that tiger everyone out. knows tiger you let the, No, let the tiger out. It. It's like you guys have get, never done TV Everybody before. knows what I'm you want to say. I'm the host of the show. No. I just give you guys facts. I say, what do you think? No. It's not, that, what do you think? That's, that's not that, how it works. That, 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 so, the, what you are trying to lead the audience down a path of, which is not at all where I thought we were going to go here, is are the Lakers better without LeBron? What? Which is obviously... Farcical yeah, on no, its face. That you no, no that's, 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 felt like you They would not that. even be in the hunt for contention without LeBron. Maybe they just. But I'm just saying they can play. So different. there you. So finish the thought. Really? They just really? beat the box. So either, they, they, the they would be a contender don't. without LeBron. James. I didn't give the take. No, you don't. just said it. You basically, said, you said it. No, you said I LeBron's did holding not, Anthony no. Davis back. I did not say that. Kind of. And I wasn't even talking about AD. I'm talking about the other guy. Why isn't Anthony Davis playing better? Why is Anthony? No, because he had his. He's had his chance. He had his chance in New Orleans for what seven years. How did he get it done? Yeah, they won one series. I think. They won one series, and he was great against Portland in the one series, and then also nobody thought he was holding Anthony Davis back no. when they won a championship. Like, like this is, th this is where that. I will get a little frustrated because either give the ludicrous take and stand by it, or keep it all to yourself. Don't derail the conversation <laughs> we're having by winking at the camera and not giving the wink. take. What did you learn the, about the Lakers? So what I learned is I think AD is the best defensive player on the planet. 
I think that okay. there, and I thought you saw at the end of the game when Dame tried that scoop shot. Yeah, come on. Uh, and, but it was because he tried this, Wilds, and you, maybe more sober-minded at midnight watching the game, gave some actual analysis on Twitter, which people <laughs> misconstrued, which was they, like, this was their best option because they were trying to find a way to have Anthony Davis not affect the play, and mm -hmm. he still found a way to affect the play. But the biggest difference for the Lakers from the first half of the season when they were mediocre to the last couple months has been their third best guy has played like it. He's been aggressive. Austin, and I'm not talking D'Lo. I'm oh. talking Austin Reeves. Both so D'Lo, D'Lo as well. But Austin Reeves, the, I mean, when the in from October through January, when the Lakers were below 500 or right at 500, Austin Reeves was, in my opinion. One of the more disappointing players in the league this year mm -hmm. because there was real expectation brew that he was going to build on what he had done over the second half of last year and in the playoffs and said he went in the other direction. Since then, he has been playing. He's been shooting at a higher clip. He's been playing more efficient. He's been playing more. And the team all of a sudden is winning more than two thirds of its games. And so because of that, that changes the math on what the Lakers can be. If you have D'Lo playing better, mm -hmm. Austin playing the level that I thought he would play at at the beginning of the year. AD, it, listen, we said it in the He's playoffs last year. AD's offense is going to come and go. His D, that's who he was in college. His defense is going to set, be the same. Now, maybe he looked too much up to LeBron when he was 17 years old at Kentucky. Maybe that was LeBron's fault too. But I think it's more likely that's who Anthony Davis is as a player, that the offense is going to ebb and flow. But when he has that level of defense, this Lakers team is as scary as just about anybody when the rest of the supporting cast, like you're talking about, plays to that level. Quickly, before we go on to, like, big picture, yeah. uh, here's a tweet that I found interesting because – Charles Barkley started this street clothes thing and it kind of took off and it's one of those narratives that once it gets started because a it's funny and b it's clever is hard to unwrite but he's played 96 of his last 100 games wow. and just came off 52 minutes let the I like the, let the praise be as loud as the doubt <laughs> usually I don't like to be told what to do but I was like you know what Lakers lead I think you're right there here's the I one think we thing. owe him Maybe not an apology, but I think that narrative has to go away. I'm shocked that he's that number, 96 out of 100. Great. Wow, that's great. And good for AD because we want him to be healthy. He's a great player and all that. But I'm not about to applaud a guy for doing your job. Man. Can't bro, you applaud 96 out of 100? I, I applaud yeah. him staying healthy. That's what I mean. That's great. But, but – this is what you're supposed to but do. But he's playing through some stuff, unless you think it's all just... I think everybody plays through little nag nagging injuries yeah. here. And LeBron's playing through stuff all season. So I think that... So here's where I think I'm just saying I'm little... not going to like, oh, yeah, he's playing 96. I think that's what you're supposed to do. No, but, but Brew, don't you, don't you applaud improvement? And it wasn't one of the knocks on him that, hey... LeBron got there. LeBron gave you the blueprint on how to stay healthy, how to take care of your body. Why have you not followed it more? And it would appear that over the last year and a half, he has. Like, there is a level of... But what about the, the years? Why did it take that long? Okay, well, I, I don't want to criticize. I don't want to turn this into a negative against AD. I'm just saying... To I'm supposed to give you praise because bit. you're playing games? So, no, well, I guess it's, it, 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 I put it in the same bucket as Kyrie in this regard, not health part of it. Like, sh should you in a vacuum be praised for not creating off-court nonsense? No, of course, <laughs> that's you. the expectation. But if you consistently did and now you appear to have gotten to a place where you no longer are, that does deserve some acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. And, so, yeah. Acknowledgement is different than applause. Okay, okay. that's fine. All right. All right. All right. Fair um, Go ahead. Quickly, what do you yeah. think the Lakers' ceiling is? All right, so this is the take that I told you before the show. I didn't well, tell you, you the did, show. Right. I told he, you that I had he one. Took, that I think, I, heard it. I think you are. A, I think I know it. Okay. Can I, you want me to guess? Sure. I think it's. Somebody else takes out the Nuggets nope, not and it. the Lakers can get to the Nope, Lakers. that's okay. not it. Okay. So this is – so hear the entire thing. I'm talking to Brew in the audience. <laughs> let's just assume – I know this isn't the case for everyone. Let's just assume full health for everyone across the league, okay? 
the Joker's not going to get hurt or you know what I mean? And let's assume that no one's going to handle your business for you. Meaning, no one's going to take the Nuggets out on your behalf. You know what I mean? That if you want to get to the NBA Finals, you at some point are going to have to beat a fully healthy Denver Nuggets team. Okay. If that is the case, then the Lakers should hope they get them in round one. Because round one is the only round where you have multiple days between games where you are going to theoretically be well-rested for every game where there isn't going to be the element of the Lakers just took seven games to beat Minnesota or Oklahoma City while Denver beat Houston in four and has been resting. And now you're playing them every other day. If you are, right now I think the Lakers versus the Nuggets in a playoff series, Lakers are probably a 15% chance. I know Wild you'd have it at 0%, but I think Vegas probably have around 15%. I think in round one, that might jump up to 20, 25%. Because you can play LeBron heavier minutes. You can play AD heavier minutes. They're going to be the healthiest and freshest they're going to be. So as odd as it is, if the goal is just get as deep as you can in the playoffs, then obviously you want to avoid Denver as long as possible. If the goal is give us our best chance to make the finals and win a championship, your best chance is if you play Denver in round one. By that, we got to get to the, your Cowboys. I, I, I think they lose to Denver yeah. in, in round one, round three, round two, whatever it is. But where would you give them the best chance? I mean, I think there's different. They, they're coming through, likely coming through the play-in. So you've you've had to play games, one game, intense game, probably well, one game, maybe, yeah, right. It, but um, Denver, I just I think the the thing too is that Denver like has it out for the Lakers, well, the, particularly Michael Malone. So sure. it's not like right. they're never going to be like take them lightly or you know. But what don't I mean? you think that Their every other day part of it hurts the Lakers right. more than Denver? I mean, because because obviously you got more. Wi- yes, I agree That's with what that. I, so, that's the concern with LeBron. Like, can he be effective every other day? Right. Which so I give so you that in the first round you're not in the first round. Sometimes you have three days. You might be this. slightly right. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good take. Thank you. Not I bad. think the Lakers could win if they played like 20 games. They could win four. After the headline, <laughs> sponsored by Ram Trucks, built to serve. No extension for Dak, bro. Bro, could you see this being Dak's last year in Dallas? This is why I get frustrated. Why? This is exactly what I've been telling you guys for two years. What's that? But you said, oh, Bruce, you're just a basketball guy. Nobody oh, said oh, that. Oh, Bruce, you don't, you don't know. Who said that? You know, this is Roger Staubach and, and Tony Dorsett, <laughs> Emmitt Smith, Troy. They're not walking through that door. <laughs> We've never We've said that. I can any sum of up things. what he said and what is happening this year for the Dallas Cowboys in four letters. Okay. S. B O B, they're S Bob. Just like I've been saying, take a listen. <laughs> Got what to are it. the Cowboys? The bust is Mike McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, is. That, I they mean, have, have to be S Bob. You know, I think they got to be S Bob. Oh. S Bob, absolutely. S Bob, absolutely. S Bob. Okay. I know y'all think winning the playoff game is going to be impressive. (laughs) S-Bob. Y'all ripped me, including Greg Jennings, when I said for the Cowboys it is Super Bowl or bust. (laughs) S-Bob. He basically said we S-Bob. Chris Broussard is right. We're S-Bob every single year. So so now they are. What do you think they are this year? Look, you tell me. I want to hear y'all say it. The, I, I, we should have the trumpeters out here for y'all to say it. Kind of agree. Jerry Joe, Mike McCarthy, you're on a one year deal. They just hired a defensive coordinator and he's on a one year deal. Mike Zimmer, <laughs> Dak, let's see what you got. I mean, they're, they're Micah, CD, I think they would keep them, but still, no extension. No, they're getting one, the extensions this year. Mike one and year. CD this year. Okay, this sure. one year. Well, one year. They got one year to get it done, which or makes bust. them what? It's a true – it's it S. Bob. Are you, you don't believe in Wilds. S. Bob now? So I, I, just, I know you don't want to say You don't want to give me props. You've said it. Well, it was, it was proven that you were wrong about him last year. Now, could it be well, that they're bust, S. Bob you, now? You guys think that, bust means getting rid of the franchise? No, no, no. no. How about happen. one significant this is, change? This is significant. Of what? Running not back with everybody? Not resigning Dak. Not resigning Dak. Okay. And losing but, five or okay. six starters. So, I'm just, I'm just curious. S. Bob means win the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, and they're not going to do that. Okay. Yet. Super Bowl. So, no, no, uh, right. I think, get to, I think it was – No, hold on. Well, that's what I'm asking. You're thinking W. S. Bob. No, but really – no, just that, in my that, honestly, yeah. the real context uh-huh. of me saying it, 
Because they're S Bob every year. Yeah. Is there win it? Because they're the Cowboys. Win it. Win oh. it. So, okay. but so this is where once again you have the right idea and you just can't stick the landing on it. Because are you sitting here saying that if the Dallas Cowboys get to the Super Bowl and lose, I don't know, let's just pick a random team, uh, the chi- to the Chiefs yeah. in overtime, <laughs> that they are then going to be like, Dak, you're out of here. McCarthy, you're out of here. Or are they going to reward them with massive extensions and Jerry Jones be thrilled and discuss what a great year it was? Because I think it will be that. It would be the latter. Well, but here's they're the not problem. S-bomb, you buddy. guys are taking bust literally. <laughs> Right. All right. I mean, let's let's the really take it literally. Let's anagram. take it. No, nah, let's take it yeah, literally. Okay. You know what it means? No I more Dallas acronym. Cowboys franchise. Acronym? Yeah, That's anagram literal. Is different. Oh, it's if we want to oh, be yeah. literal about it. Go. Uh-huh. You're getting rid of the franchise. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> No, like, no, not. Super Bowl or bust means we are not happy. Mm-hmm. We are not, we are disappointed. We have not had a great year. Yeah. Of course, there's different degrees. Yeah. yeah. But we are the yeah. Cowboys. We built our name. We became America's team because we win Super Bowls. So, okay, sure. That's what I'm so saying. That that part, that's why, that's why I say right. you don't stick the landing. Because that part I agree with you on. It's uh, it's th- there are so many kernels of correctness wrapped a in a package of wrong. I yeah. got a good question for you. Are the Chiefs Super Bowl or bust? What? This of course. Year? Okay, so if they don't win it, uh-huh. what's gonna happen? I don't know. They get a new quarterback. I don't know. Really? No, so Stop. I don't know. See I'm just that? No, what you, do you mean, know. They are the, they are I'm more as Bob than anybody, and nothing's gonna no, happen. But, Andy Reid. No, so that so Mahomes, here's the thing. But Chris here Jones. here's actually where I disagree with you on that. Because when the, the Chiefs were at, won a Super Bowl, so then they were clearly yeah. S Bob, they then got back to the Super Bowl and lost and changed the entirety of a phase of their team. The entire offensive line got overhauled. So there are certain teams where you're Super Bowl or bust, but your faces of your franchise are entrenched. But it means that okay. any the, the Niners were Super Bowl or bust. You know how I know? Because they made the poor D coordinator get out. They're like, you know what? You're out of here, buddy. Don't care. The Eagles were S Bob. So what, they, five, six starters walked well, this year? Well, that was because they didn't that they didn't want want to let those guys go. They don't have money. They don't have money because to answer this question, to be very clear, I do think that the Cowboys could. I still am not certain they're not gonna fold and sign Dak. I think it's on the board they might. That's fair. But I think it is smart if they don't. I've said it before, I will say it again. I think that. Not signing Dak does not guarantee that you lose him. But I agree with and you. because you because your downside is not locked in by not signing him, I think the upside of the flexibility and knowledge that can come along with how he performs this year, how mm-hmm. everything plays out this year, is worth not locking him in at the peak of the market. Because the only thing he's going to sign right now is peak of the market. So I think this would be a smart move, even if it would be a gutsy move and a what I would call an un, a non-traditional move. Usually teams, if they have 31, 32-year-old franchise quarterback, they always lock them up. Uh, quick question. Yeah. What's the best record quarterback wins that Dak could have where Dallas would be ready to move on? Wait, that doesn't make sense. What do you mean? The best record that Dak, that the Cowboys could have. Where, and like, they still move on? Yeah. Oh, I think he could playoffs, be 15 and think? 2. But if they right. flame out and round it's one of the playoffs, the playoffs, yeah, I think it's purely I think the re- I think it's in a weird spot where the regular season doesn't matter at all. If oh. he missed the playoffs, that obviously would kill him. But I think if they're 10 and 7 and sneak in and go on a deep run, or if they're 15 and 2 in the one seed and lose their first playoff game, I think I think it's entirely because this because he was great last year. They've won three. They've yeah, had three consecutive 12 win seasons, yep. and they're you know what I mean. It's Clearly the not that happy. Yes, okay. go ahead. Yeah, yeah, thank you. you. Wilds right. gets it. You were 100 Nick, percent right. Still trying. Time. To. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.